Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and today we are going to be looking through the new uh, OP07 leaders, the new announced uh, leaders. Now, I'm gonna make uh, the tier list for them uh, based on their abilities as leaders and I'll be using some of the already leaked cards to kind of place them because there are some cards that have been leaked so we can use them to kind of determine how good the deck will be. Make sure to note this is only my opinion and obviously is subject to change or I may just be wrong. <laughs> this can obviously uh, be the case. Now, I understand many of videos that are out there look only through the leader abilities, but I think uh, going through the cards is also important, the leaked cards. I would just also like to say before I go into, I'm sorry that the videos right now are not gameplay, um, I'm gonna just save the gameplay for when I go live streaming, uh, which will be on Saturday. <laughs> now that I've just plugged in that little announcement, let's get into the video. Now, uh, the new leaders are all pure color. I forgot one leader, wait a second, okay, all the new leaders are pure color, I think this is good, I'm kind of a little bit sick of going through dual colors, so it's good that I keep adding pure colors, and I think these pure colors are actually very good. So let's just go into it, the first one is uh, Monkey D Dragon, now his effect is that you can attach two uh, Dawn that were previously attached to your leader or character onto another character. Or leader, I believe. This means pretty much what you need to know is you can transfer up to two Dawn onto other characters. This will be very good, obviously, with the Revolutionary Army, and it can go well as well with the Straw Hats, for example, or even the White Bird Pirates. Um, because of how the meta works in the One Piece CCG, we already know that if um, an effect does not have many rules, like this one, it can go into many decks. Just as many. And normally, as we know, most of the time they end up being OP. Now, I believe this is not will not be the case. He will not be uh, OP, but I believe he will be actually pretty good. Um, so I'm going to put this at A. Just by its effect alone. Uh, as for now, we don't have many leak card on the red color. We only know about uh, Dragon Ace card, which is uh, pretty much... you. He's an 8 cost and 9k power. And once you put him on the field, you can attach two Rested Dawn onto a character or leader. So it's pretty much a Brook. Just a very powerful Brook because he also has Rush. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, he's, he will, I believe he will be pretty good. That's why I'm putting him on A. Again, his general uh, uh, leader ability with not many rules and just very simple uh, ability. I think he will have a play uh, onto the meta. Next will be Bonnie. Now, this will be a little bit of bias, but I believe this will go over here. <laughs> now, um, this is also because our, uh, we already have uh, more leaked cards on the green, but sh pretty much her ability goes as it follows. When an opponent attacks once per turn, you can use one Dawn, you may, uh, there you go, rest up to one of your opponent's leaders or characters. No cost, so you just, plain and simple, you just rest it. Though, now, this is already, in my opinion, really good. What made me, makes me think that this has the potential to go to the to the S tier is because of one uh, leaked card and one card that we already know exists. Now, this card that got leaked is Basil Hawkins. Uh, which is, if your leader has Supernova in its types, which obviously Bonnie has, this character gains Blocker. This can be played into her, into Kid, I'll talk about him in a second, and obviously Red Green Law. Uh, now, once per turn, if this character were to be removed from play by one of your opponent's effects, you may instead rest one of your opponent's characters. So, you know, this in conjunction with her ability is already super good, obviously, to balance him out, you do have his high cost to play him, but still, he's pretty much... Not only is he, will it be hard to take him away from the field, he actually just takes away your own field. 
This in conjunction with Bonnie taking away your field as well can be very OP. And the other card I want to mention is the, I believe, 8 cost drop kit, which is the one that when he has one Dawn attached and is rested, your opponent can only attack him. This with Bonnie will work super good as well, because if you see them um, going too much into your board, again, the kid has the high cost to play. I still think this will be very good. Uh, again, this I don't believe she'll be S tier because she'll be very easy to play. But I believe very skilled players can pick her up and make her work very well thanks to these other cards. So pretty much, if someone swings with your uh, to your kid, that's already an 8k uh, card. You can just take away for one down another attack, and you can just protect your kid, which will be much easier to protect because it's an 8k body. So yeah. She has this potential and that's why I'm putting her for now on S. Just keep in mind she'll be an S tier because she'll be very hard to play but if people do find a way to play her very well with skill as with skilled players, she I believe she can go to S tier. Uh, next up is Vagabunk. I'll put this on A. Now, as for Vagabunk, uh, I already we already have two leak cards, but his ability is as it follows. You pretty much once per turn for one dawn you can put one card up to your life face up. Now he's a leader with 5k and two lives. He's the first one to, to do it. Not only that he cannot attack. I believe this is to balance him out because um, here's how it falls. You're probably gonna go first with this card obviously. But if you can put his searcher which is Lilith um, right on the first turn what she does is look at the top 5 of your deck and reveal up to one card with the type Egghead other than Lilith and put it into your hand. Then put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. And her trigger is if your leader is Vegapunk, play this card. So it will, like this leader will be very uh, subjective uh, to only being able to play Egghead. I still believe is going to be very good because it, pretty much what you're going to be doing, I believe from what I'm seeing here, is you'll be just using your your leader ability to put cards on life and once you take those lives for free they'll play themselves or have a really good trigger that you really want to use. She is only Lilith, I have another one which is Luffy. Now I don't believe his trigger is as good but he, he's still very good. So his trigger is KO up to one of your opponent's costs for or less card. This is the trigger, so if you put him on life he does this, but if you put him onto the field by 5 cost, you may place this character, you can activate um, in the main, you may place this character in your trash if your opponent, uh, if your life is 2 or less, KO up to one of your opponent's cost 4 or less characters, then draw one card. Now this is uh, very specific and this is why it won't be as super OP as you might want to, but again, because uh, the chemistry here is going very well and we already know how the how Bandai balances out the yellow color. <laughs> uh, I think the way you're gonna play him is you're gonna put uh, cards in life and just play with your life and not with your hand. With uh, black color, you're starting to go just playing with your trash most of the time. But and I believe with yellow, you'll be playing with your life most of the time. And I believe Vegapunk will do this to the extreme. Again, I'm only putting him here because I believe he'll take some skill which will make him more fun, as well as Bonnie. But again, if a really skilled player um, picks him up, he can be a really good threat, just based on these two leaks. Um, as for Dragon, by the way, I'm putting him on A, even if not a skilled player picks him up. I'm just gonna believe he's gonna be very good and probably gonna be the very best uh, red leader on OPO7. This is just me speculating. All right, next one is Foxy Pirates. Now, I'm very undecisive on putting him on B or A. I'm still gonna put him on B because, again, um, the same way uh, if you are a skilled player, you may, may put him on A, but I think he won't be as easy as uh, maybe getting skilled players to play Bonnie or Vegapunk. The reason is we have already um, a leak of a card which is a Porsche, uh, but I'll first read his effect. So if you have three or more Foxy Pirates on your field, uh, you can uh, take away three Dawn 
and you can choose up to one leader and one character of your opponent and they won't they'll stay rested until the end of their turn so this is pretty much a 10 drop uh, don flamingo only a little bit weaker because you are sacrificing a good amount of dawn and it's for two opponent's cards so to speak one leader and one character but it's still very good obviously the only problem i see with this card comes when i see cards like lilith oh uh, sorry Lil not lilith porche uh, what I mean by this um, is, supposedly, a requirement is to get three Foxy Pirates on the field. Now, uh, Porche will be a searcher of the deck. Let's re read their ability. On play, Dawn minus one, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may add up to one card with the type Foxy Pirates to hand. Place the remainder uh, on the bottom of your deck in any order you like. Then, you may play up to one 4k power or lower purple character from hand. Pretty much the Foxy Pirates will help you reach the, the amount needed to to use his ability. The problem will be they won't be as strong as they'll be 4k power and you have the Dawn problem. Pretty much all their um, abilities will probably take away your Dawn. So in your deck building you're gonna have the problems of balancing this out. Which cannot be easy because if you want to use your leader ability, it means you want to build board. Which means you 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 will be needing to to sacrifice a lot of dawn to build this. So his deck building is already telling us it will be super hard. But if you find the right balance, it can be a pretty viable option. But because I believe this deck building will not be as easy and using his ability will not be as easy, I'm putting him on B tier. Next is Ancock. Ancock, I'm actually gonna put him her on C. Now, um, her ability is as it follows. Uh, during your turn, once per turn, you may activate this when your character leaves the play from, from one of your abilities. If you have five or less cards in hand, draw one card. So, uh, blue has a good white war, um, board wiping. And it's not really hard to go from five cards or less. There, I believe there will be more... Um, I believe there are already better blue leaders. Um, she is still will be very viable, and if you're a skill player, I can pr probably put her over here. But uh, I believe she'll have a very high skill ceiling. But she already has her ace card revealed, which is Boa Hancock. And on play, up to one of your ca opponent's characters, other than Monkey D. Luffy, cannot attack until the end of the next turn. Then, place up to one cost one or less character on the bottom of its owner's deck. This can help you with removal, which can help you trigger your effect. But, I don't, but she's a 6 cost uh, card, so by the time you play 6 cost, getting a cost 1 on the field that you can bottom deck will be very hard especially because Be sorry Bow and Hancock is a pure blue so she does not have the black variant to decrease the the cost easily i don't think you'll come up as much for her ability but again i believe if you're a skilled player you'll be over here but i don't think this will be very viable so she'll still be at c um i think she's going to be too hard to play why play her when you can play Crocodile? I think it's gonna be better, still gonna be better, or obviously Blue Black Sakazuki, which has uh, blue color as well. I don't know. Uh, the way to, to balance her out is to be very specific, as you can see, but I think that kinda boycotts her. So she's very hard to play. Why the other leaders are up here are not as specific, and even Foxy, that it's pretty specific, is not still as specific as her. Uh, to come by to his uh, conditions will be much easier thanks to, to his leaked cards, which tell us he can at least build board easily. So yeah, to come up to her leader build will be very hard. Next up and finally will be Luigi. I'm just gonna put this over here. <laughs> um, so the only thing he does, you may when attacking, you may trash the top two cards of your deck, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus one cost for this turn. Unless this leader will, unless they they release many CP0 cards that can only be played when you have a CP0 uh, leader. Why play this when you can play Sakazuki? That's just the question, right? Or why play this when you can play Moria? Uh, uh, Gecko can just play from trash as well. Black color is already proving themselves to just play from trash now. And so even if you... Yeah, he can trash easily the top two cards from, from his deck. But will he have good synergy with the Thriller Bark uh, characters? So he can use this ability. Or... 
I don't know, man. If you have Blue Black Sakazuki and Moria, this doesn't seem as good. But he does have potential if he plays a lot of cards that are only for CP0 uh, leaders. But that is extremely specific. That's the only way he can go into the meta. But as for now, there are not enough leaks to tell me that he's gonna even be viable. So that's that is all that I wanted to go through. I hope this helped. Um, again, this is my opinion and it's subject to change. Uh, I'm I really like my favorite uh, leaders. By the way, in here are the dragon. Dragon is my favorite. I'll be playing him definitely in OPO7, even if he's meta or not. I don't really care. I believe he's gonna be very viable. And Bonnie, I really liked her. Um, at first, when I first got the leak, uh, I thought this was going to be a bit disgusting, but I don't know. Uh, hopefully, the high cost cards will balance her ability out, but I still believe she can be a very good meta contender. And I would really like to see a green color coming back, not gonna lie. Uh, Perona will help as well. Perona has a really good ability, and I think this Bonnie is just a buff of that leader ability of Perona. But we'll see, we'll see with time. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. I know this still is not gameplay, don't forget, I'll be here Saturday live, um, just to going through gameplay, just playing some ranked on Discord. Thank you so much, like and subscribe, and goodbye.